All right, thank you, Jesse. Milwaukee Recreation's newest program wants you and your family to get out of the house and experience the great outdoors. And here to tell us about nature in your neighborhood, Assistant Supervisor Kevin Reed and naturalist Christy Reins. Good morning to both of you. Thanks morning, for being here. All right, so the idea of this program is to take some of the great things that you're doing at Hawthorne Glen and bring them closer to different neighborhoods in Milwaukee. Exactly. That is exactly the concept of what we're trying to do is introduce environmental concepts to children through the use of maybe hands-on exploration, live animals, art projects. Um, really take some of the wonderful programs that we're well known for at Hawthorne Glen to our community centers. All right, and you brought some of the examples that you will bring to these yeah. community centers. <laughs> Show us what you've got, Christy. Um, one of the things we like to use are puppets for the younger kids. Um, this is just an example of a grasshopper that um, would be to tell them that oh well insects not actual size not, not just, actual not, not, not size to scale. <laughs> <laughs> not to scale that this would be a good way to show um, younger kids especially that insects one way to tr see if it's an insect or not they have six legs one two three four five six so that's one of the first things you would look at for an insect to determine if it's okay. an insect or not so puppets are always a good use I also brought a great horned owl wing. Um, kids love to be able to touch these so it's kind of neat that they get to feel what an owl feathers would feel like and um, we teach about adaptations that they would have so owls have fringe on their wings which is going to be a little bit hard to see right here um, kind of like a comb that helped to cut up um, the wind resistance when they're flying to make their flying silent at night because if the prey hears them coming they're not going to get their food that night and this is an owl that would be <laughs> this is a great native, horned owl native to wisconsin native to wisconsin yes all right and kevin why is it important to bring these programs especially to kids that are in the city that may not have a chance to experience the great outdoors well there really is kind of a, a lot of children are having a virtual base experience i guess really with nature and, and sometimes at best that is via the television and while uh, watching it on TV is a wonderful way of appreciation of nature, um, there's a great movement to try to reconnect ch children with nature. I think a lot of people have heard of the concept or uh, no child left behind, and then there's another concept of no child left inside. Um, studies have really shown that kids can, uh, with early exposure to um, nature, they um, have better communication skills, um, uh, just a lot of, I'm sorry, a lot of wonderful sure. things come from higher self-esteem, more creativity, um, less stress. All of those things come from an early exposure to nature. And Christy, if there's one thing that you hope that children will walk away feeling after they attend one of these programs, real quickly, what would that be? Just, I guess, a better appreciation for nature and the things that they can find just out in their backyard. All right. <laughs> and the information on these programs is in the guide that comes to everyone's home in the city of Milwaukee. And right. I'm sure if you're outside the city, you can call the office, too. That's absolutely right. All right, Kevin and Christy, thanks so much for being here. Thank we'll you. also put this information up on the website, today's TMJ4.com.